Dogs are known to be man's best friend, and in many cases, they are also our guardian angels. Alan and Linda Anderson's Angel Dogs with a Mission is a great collection of inspiring tales about animals that have rescued and healed folks in need everywhere. And Linda joins us now to share some of those stories. Welcome back. You. you know, I'm an animal lover. I have dogs. I've always had dogs. I love these stories that you bring to us. This is just one in many uh, one in a series of many books about animals, and in this case, dogs with a mission. Where do these dogs come from originally? Actually, a variety of places. Some of them are bred and trained for the work that they do, but most of the stories in this book are dogs that they just had an affinity for a certain type of work or a certain type of service, and uh, many of them just figured it out for themselves. Mm -hmm. It was just their gift. Well, uh, we're going to go through, through some photographs of a, just a snapshot of some of the stories in the book. You can open the book to any page and find a great inspirational story. And we're going to start with the first story, which is about Angel Abdul. And you call them all by that, Angel. They're all different angels. Tell us about Angel Abdul. This is a remarkable story. It's actually two stories back to back. And it's about this woman, uh, Carol, who was, had muscular dystrophy from birth. And she teamed up with Bonnie Bergen, and this was back in the 1970s. They had no idea that a dog could help a person with physical disabilities. They blind and deaf, but could a person in a wheelchair who can't even move their hands and arms, could they train a dog to help them? Mm -hmm. This was the start of the entire program of really dogs. was the groundbreaking dog mm -hmm. it for was. all of this in the 70s yes. and now we take it for granted that you can train dogs yes. to answer the phone as that were or you know all these different things uh, and that looked like my dog that black lab <laughs> dogs at my heart strings so the next dog story is angel midge what's midge story oh midge is so cute she's in the guinness world records book 2008 <laughs> she's the smallest police dog in the world <laughs> look at the flag behind her very patriotic Dog. She is. She's a, a chihuahua, <laughs> you know, chihuahua movies. And what does she do? <laughs> I'm going to see that movie today with my daughter. What does she do? She uh, sniffs narcotics, and she can get into places that big dogs can't get into without causing damage. Mm -hmm. So she can get into a car. She can get into a, a locker at a, at a school. And actually, she, they take her to schools to show kids that you can be little and you can be different, but you can still do be whatever powerful. you want to do. Yeah, you can still be powerful. Uh -huh. Great <laughs> message. Angel Emily is the next story. Yes, this is a local story, Home for Life. I don't know if you know that sanctuary. Yes, yes. And uh, they have this terrific program <laughs> called the Renaissance Project. They team up Home for Life dogs with uh, boys from Boys Totem Town, which mm -hmm. is a correctional facility. And these boys train the dogs to be able to go out and then become therapy dogs. So the dogs then visit domestic abuse shelters and nursing homes and all kinds of programs that they're mm -hmm. involved in. And this particular story of Emily is just a beautiful story of the transformation of Emily and of the of, of the young one helping the them. other. Exactly. They both did it together. Mm -hmm. Now we've got just a couple seconds. I want to touch on Leaf and Zoom. Leaf has a personal connection to you. Yes, Leaf is our dog. We uh, got him from the Animal Humane, <laughs> and uh, he's a rescue dog. Oh, what he a was picture. abandoned, and it's. A, it's a wonderful story about how he helped my husband Alan when he went through this very life threatening situation mm -hmm. and it, it's a it's a miracle story it's just beautiful and you experienced that personally yes uh, and then zoom is the last story that we're yes. going to look at today tell us about zoom zooms from my home state of Kentucky yes now you have to say the city though oh well Louisville she said Louisville I said well we say Louisville down there <laughs> yes. what does zoom do zoom uh, got, uh, his uh, person got the idea to take him to school when her grandson started at a school that had low reading scores and she started bringing Zoom in and he started sitting and listening to the the special uh, needs children read and as a result Zoom actually transformed the entire school the whole school's reading test scores went up after <laughs> Zoom started coming to school she has these little buttons that said I'm a Zoom kid and this this little guy goes to school about three or four times a week and, and listens to the children read. all of these kids to do better. Great stories like these. There are a ton of them in this book and the other books that you've written with your husband. 
It's just a great book to pick up. Nice to see you again. You. Linda will be hosting a book signing at 1 p.m. this Saturday, at October the 18th, at Borders in Minnetonka. If you'd like to go in and share your dog story, for more information, visit angelanimals.net. You can find Alan and Lisa and Linda Anderson's book, Angel Animals with a Mission, in bookstores absolutely everywhere.